Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Sunday, August 18th, 2019. I got a free pick coming up in just a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way to give it a try. You click on the link uh, right below this video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else for that matter over at DocSports.com. Again, it's a real cool way to give DocSports.com a trial run. Click on the link below the video get that free $60 account and have at it on Sunday and we've got a real big play going on Sunday seven unit WNBA main event that goes on Sunday's card listen we're, we were three and oh on Friday in the WNBA which meant that we weren't happy that the league was off yesterday you want to stay in action uh, but we're right back on Sunday with the seven unit play three and oh on Friday and we're now 31 15 and two that's 67 percent against the spread with our last 48 plays in the WNBA. It's been a tremendous run this summer. Our first summer of handicapping and betting the WNBA, and we've been on this tremendous run. So don't miss out on Sunday. That play will be available 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific over at DocSports.com. Seven unit play in the WNBA as we look to extend our runs in that particular league to 6-0 and 32-15-2. And, and by the way, we've been red hot in everything. We won again yesterday in Major League Baseball. We went to and one overall. We did lose in the UFC action. We had Pettis. He went down to defeat to Diaz. Uh, but as far as everything else, baseball, 10-3 and three run after another win last night with the Padres. We're up about $2,800 during this run for $100 per unit betters. NASCAR wins again. Seven-unit play yesterday. Denny Hamlin over Keselowski got a little bit close, but Hamlin gets the win and we cash that seven-unit play, which means we are now 13-3 and three in NASCAR going Going all the way back to the 1st of May, we picked up over $4,800 in that short time for those wagering just $100 per unit. Unfortunately, no NASCAR next week. we got to wait two weeks, and then they uh, take the left turn circuit to Darlington. So we'll be looking forward to that in two weeks. As far as everything else, NFL preseason football, we are still 100% so far this preseason. Uh, not playing Sunday's games, but I am involved in Monday Night Football, and that play is available right now over at Dodgers. Sports.com. Here's what we got going on Sunday. Uh, the Monday Night Football game is yours. You can get it right now. You can get it on Sunday. DocSports.com. Uh, Major League Baseball looked at Sunday's card, and we have one opinion, and I'm about to give that to you for free. We don't have a premium pick on Sunday. Rare pass for us on the diamond, especially for a Sunday, but a 10-3 and three run is what we'll take into Monday and hopefully find a player or two on Monday's card. But free pick in baseball in just a moment. And, of course, that seven-unit play in the WNBA again. Again, will be posted 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on Sunday. We look to extend our run to 6-0 and the long-term run to 32-15-2. All right, let's get... Oh, by the way, one more thing. Uh, Monday afternoon, I will be releasing uh, my eight-unit college football future. That'll be Monday afternoon. It'll be over at DocSports.com, so be sure to check back for that on Monday afternoon. And I'm talking probably around 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific at the earliest uh, that we'll be posting that play at DocSports.com. All right, let's get to our free pick for Sunday. Yesterday, we had the Padres, and they got the win for us over the Phillies. Today, we're going to take the home team, the homestanding Philadelphia Phillies. Nice price here, too, as I speak. They're around, you know, even money, maybe minus $1.3, minus $1.4 in that neighborhood. A couple of lefties going here, and that's a big part of this handicap. Joey Lucchese had a decent start last time out on the road against Seattle, his last road start, I should say. Not bad, but overall for the season. He's got an ERA north of six when he pitches on the road. He's going to take on a Phillies offense that has been blistering and blasting uh, left-handed starters at home this season. 15 games against Southpaws at home and they're averaging about six and a half runs per game. On the flip side, you've got a San Diego Padre baseball team. Folks, they're still winless in 2019 in road day action against left-handed starters. Now that sample size is only six but they're 2-12 and 12 overall in 14 games on the road against lefties, and they're barely averaging over three runs per game, about three and a half runs per game. So, listen, we got a great advantage as far as the offense is concerned and how they perform against Southpaws with the Phillies in this one. And then, listen, Jason Vargas, he hasn't pitched badly his last three starts, his three starts in Philly. He's been adequate, 415 ERA. His whip is good, 1.21, and I expect his numbers to lower a little bit with this matchup 
lineup against a San Diego team that, as I mentioned, has not hit lefties on the road this entire season. So we're getting back the Phillies to bounce right back, get themselves back in the win column. We went against them yesterday and won. Let's play on the Phillies on Sunday and get the win here. That game, by the way, goes shortly after 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific time. All right. Free pick on the Phillies on Sunday. Again, the seven unit WNBA play will be posted at DocSports.com exclusively 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on Sunday. And uh, we'll be back on Monday about 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific with our next report. And again, don't forget, man, if you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Sunday in the win column right back here Monday morning.